In early 2017, the very best years of my existence began. I was swiping through Tinder. In my swiping, I came across a James. Not this one, another one, and then another one, and then another one, and then I met this one, okay? And then I read his description. I'm James, I live in London, I own my house. <laughs> my profile, on the other hand, was, I'm a doctor, I'm studying in London, I like coffee, and I can be very sarcastic. Squirrels are nice. To go with this, I had a few pictures, a couple of me dressed as a giant mosquito. Somehow, James also came across my profile, and we matched. Despite all these absolutely atrocious descriptions and pictures. Now, if that isn't destiny, I don't know what is. I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you all my love. Will it be enough? Only a few months before we met, we were living 5,000 miles apart, living very different lives. And if it wasn't for that little mobile app, we never would have met. Zana, my life changed when I met you. It turns out that the person I needed was you. When you meet the right person, you will absolutely find a way. There'll never be a good enough reason that would change that will to be with that person. So for Zana, do you take James to be your husband Onwards on this fantastic journey of life. I do. James, do you take Fasana to be your wife and continue to tread this amazing path you've started on? I do. Can I pronounce you husband and wife? No, I Even if the skies I'd like to close today by saying that I hope every one of you have found or find a James of your own to make you feel gorgeous on your worst hair days, appreciates you when you absolutely don't deserve it, and always chooses you and loves you anyway. Thank you, my love, for marrying me today and for choosing me.